Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I didn't hear a question, but while my colleague's statement were was was eloquent, what he was essentially saying was that Justin is an uppity Negro. How dare he point at the speaker and call a lie a lie? How dare he treat, act like he's your equal? How dare he come before this body and not bow down? That's what Representative Bolso was saying, and that's what he told me on the elevator two days ago when he tried to incite violence against me and got in my face and said, you are a damn disgrace. And I said, Representative Bolso, hold on, let me pull up my phone. Can you say that again? And he cowered and chose not to repeat it because he did not want the world to see what a disgrace he is for Williamson County voters. What we are doing today is not respecting the Constitution, but I'm not surprised because time after time again, this body chooses to burn the Constitution. In fact, we've passed more lawsuits than legitimate laws. When I hear Representative Bolso's statement, it reminds me that there are people in this chamber whose real offense is not what we did, that in breaking the quorum, we asserted our humanity, we asserted the voices and humanity of our district, we asserted our dignity as equal members of this body who you would rather have silenced, who you would rather have not hear, who you would rather have back somewhere else instead of up here as your equal. And that, sir, is disheartening. Because I know that not every member of the other side of the aisle feels like you do, Representative Bolso. But throughout this session, I have seen the passion with which you have to attack marginalized communities. And it has disheartened me to see that someone like that sits in this chamber. Someone who has made it his mission to target the vulnerable. It hurts to see that. And so I did say that what the speaker did was lie when he went on national television and told national news that the kids outside, the children who were pleading for their lives, calling for an end to mass shootings, he said they were insurrectionists. He said that they tried to rush the chamber. He said that what we did was violent and that was a lie as the video showed you. Thank you for the evidence. Play that on Fox News next time, and not the edited video that the speaker chose to retweet and tag Donald Trump and tag all these conservative pundits. That is what the speaker did a few days ago, and that is dishonorable. It is beneath the dignity of the office of House Speaker to have the speaker targeting and trying to incite violence against members of this body. But his words have consequences, as one of our community members had his house shot. His words have consequences, as you participated in the protest, asked me, is it safe to come to the next protest after the speaker called us insurrectionists? Mother saying, is it gonna be safe for my children or was the speaker giving a dog whistle to the Proud Boys and other groups to show up? That is dishonorable. And like I said before, I pray, I pray for an apology because Representative Bolso, I will apologize when the speaker and you all apologize to the families at Covenant, when you apologize to the families from the Waffle House, when you apologize to those many countless victims to gun violence because of your reckless gun laws, because of your reckless laws that proliferate weapons of war in our communities, when you apologize, and I will apologize. Representative Bolso's point, I broke a rule. I did acknowledge that. But what I did not break was my oath. That said that I would dissent from and protest against any legislation that is injurious to the people. What I did not break was my promise to the people of District 2 that I would fight for them, no matter the consequences. What I did not break was my oath to future generations that says that when I see something that is wrong, that is unjust, that is unfair, I will find a way to get in the way and to get in good trouble, necessary trouble. So thank you for your question.